Passive transport is a movement of solid from high concentration to the low concentration without the use of energy or what we call ATP. There are three mechanisms for passive transport. The first one is simple diffusion. For example, oxygen and carbon dioxide. They diffuse through semi-permeable membrane and uh, it moves from higher concentration to lower concentration without the use of energy. The second one is facilitated diffusion. For example, glucose and amino acid. They move from a protein channel from high concentration to low concentration. Lastly, there is osmosis where water molecules flows from high concentration to low concentration until it reaches equilibrium. Now, let's move on to the application of passive transport. Iron topersis is a medical procedure that utilizes a weak electrical current to facilitate the transmar dermal delivery of ionized drug. Cosmetic iron topersis enable ionic agent like lactic acid which can be used to prevent skin aging. Transmar dermal patches is widely used in the drug industry. Transmar dermal patches can transport drugs that dissolve liquid based form enabling them to produce the required efficacy. Examples of transmar dermal patches is nicotine or fatigue. Rely on passive diffusion through the skin layers, allowing for control release into the bloodstream. Next is dialysis. Dialysis is crucial for individuals with kidney failure. Dialysis operates on principle of diffusion and osmosis, where waste products move across a semi-permeable membrane from an area of high, higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. This process effectively removes toxin while maintaining electrolyte balance. And now let's talk about the issue related to the passive transport. While it's a highly efficient process, it does have its limitation that affect the practical application. And the first issue is dependence on the concentration gradient. A key issue with antiphoresis is that it relies heavily on a strong concentration gradient to drive the movement of the molecules across the skin. And if the concentration of the active ingredient is too low, the process becomes inefficient resulting in the limited absorption and this can hinder the effectiveness of the treatments particularly in cosmetic application where the process delivery is crucial. And next is limitation of the transdermal drug delivery. Uh, the major issue is the potential for skin irritation or allergy reactions caused by a prolonged exposure to the certain drugs. Additionally, passive diffusion is ineffective for a larger or ionic molecules which cannot easily pass through the skin barrier. And this significantly limits the range of drugs that can be delivered using this method. And furthermore, areas with poor blood flow will reduce the drug's absorption rate and making it less reliable in some patients. Last but not least, temperature and environmental factors. Passive transport efficiency is highly dependent on the environmental condition like temperature. Lower temperatures can slow the molecular movement, significantly reducing the diffusion rates. And this can affect the criti critical medical processes like dialysis where the proper diffusion is essential for removing waste products.